What is the weirdest thing a babysitter or caretaker has ever done to you? As a new father, thanks Reddit for making sure I never get any adult time for the next 12-15 years. Showed me her tits. I was 12 and what should have been awesome wasn't because I'm as gay as springtime. I have never had a babysitter do anything weird to me. Am I the only one whose parents only left them with trustworthy individuals? My babysitter would always complete my rubrics cube for me, I'd mess it up again, and she'd just complete it again, comma, I don't think I belong in this thread. I had a babysitter who pretended he was dead, he just was laying sprawled on the floor, 8 year old me and my 6 year old brother were both in hysterics before he got up and yelled, gotcha, and then my brother and I cried until our parents got home 3 hours later. I had a female babysitter who would take me into the bathroom. She would sit on the toilet with her pants underwear off and have me pee into the toilet bowl between her legs. She would ask me to hit her hairy spot every once in a while. I'm male and was about 8 years old at the time. I remember thinking that it was pretty ducking awesome. I had a babysitter who would try to hit me, but she was 60 or so she moved rather slowly compared to 8 stroke 9 year old me so she rarely ever landed a slap. She would usually hit me for pointing out that she was wrong or me talking back to her. One night she tried to hit me so I ran upstairs to my parents room where we kept our dog because she was terrified of dogs. I released the dog, breed, American Eskimo, and shouted I've released the hound. The dog ran downstairs and having never met her before barked at her. This babysitter ran outside barefoot into the snow, ran down the driveway, through the street and to the neighbor's house across the street. Called my parents and said she was never babysitting me again. Okay, this thread is ducked up. Dude, I think you were molested. I once locked the babysitter in the basement for 2 hours. She let me play with her turtles. She made sure I washed my hands afterwards. Not intentionally but I had a babysitter let me drink bleach when I was 2 or 3 years old. I was in the hospital for days. I had seizures and almost died. My neighbor made me wear a leash. Her kid was out of control. And we had to go to the grocery store. She pulled a leash out of her purse and hooked a velcro wristband around his arm. Before I had a chance to make fun of him. She pulled out another one and hooked it to me. I walked around patiently. Hoping to be released on good behavior. But no luck. Also, the rule in her car was hands under the seatbelt. Which was terribly uncomfortable and dangerous too. I was like. 6 years old. And our family had gotten a Nintendo Entertainment System. I basically only played a couple of games. Nothing very intense or interesting. Things like Super Mario Duck Hunt. Mickey Mouse Capades. Yoshi Cookie. ETC. Kitty Games. We had tons of games. Though. Because my cousins gave them to us used. My babysitter was this really responsible, neat, Asian college student. He saw the game collection and immediately got excited about seeing Final Fantasy in there. And asked me if I minded if he played it while he babysat me. I told him to go ahead. And I was kind of blown away. For whatever reason. I don't know. Maybe just seeing an adult get really excited about a video game. But it was a major turning point in my life. Became a pretty serious RPG sci-fi fantasy anime nerd. Over time. TL. Doctor Babysitter turned me into a nerd. Made me love Final Fantasy. Cupo. I had a babysitter punch me in the face because I told her she was an idiot. I had a. Female. Babysitter threatened to pee on me if I didn't listen. I wasn't sure if I should have listened or not. I had babysitters that were pretty well known drug dealers for that part of the state. Didn't realize that until I was 18 or so. When I was around 8, I had a babysitter who thought it was amusing to light matches directly in front of my face. I ended up developing pretty severe paraphobia. Not actually looked after me. I fell backwards in a high chair. Busted my head and she thought I was dead and so called my mom to tell her. As opposed to an ambulance. She was drunk. Hum. My mom never left me with a babysitter. She always just left me home alone when I was about the ages of 8 and up. Back then I thought it was cool. 
and I was proud of myself for being able to stay home alone. However, looking back, that was pretty irresponsible. I don't even remember her giving me any emergency numbers or anything. My old daycare lady's daughter made me make out with her once. She just randomly woke me up from a nap early, and when I went to go play, she pinned me against a wall and tried cramming her tongue into my mouth. I resisted as much as I could, but it was inevitable. Oh, and did I mention that I'm a chick? That same girl also choked me because I was invited into their fort by my sister. But she didn't want me in there, so she pinned me to the ground and held my throat. Bitches be whack. Actually sit on me on the first day as a joke saying I'm your babysitter. My brother babysat me once. He handcuffed me to a metal pole in the basement. God damn I was lucky. My babysitter introduced me to Metroid Prime and let me stay up until 11. A big deal at the time. And watch Cartoon Network. My 16 year old babysitter, a girl, explained to me what masturbation was. She had me look it up in the dictionary too. Kind of weird BC I was like 11 years old. Formed a conga line with me and my brother. I can't even remember if music was playing. We went around the coffee table a few times. What? You never specified what kind of weird. It's a good weird. I went to a home daycare where the woman who ran it had two kids. An older boy and a younger girl. The woman literally just watched TV and sent us outside to play. The boy would distract my older brother with his cool toys to keep us away and the girl would take me and my younger brother into a shed and make us have sex with her. The woman looking after this was completely aware and sometimes even kept our older brother inside if her son said that he was trying to go in the shed or something. She was in high school and I was in elementary school. She would watch me and my younger sister most days after school before my parents would come home. She was alright to us. I remember she was very lazy. She would sleep on the couch for hours while we would play around the house or neighborhood. What made her terrible is she started stealing from us. She found my dad's checkbook and forged some checks. My dad is in finance and always balances the checkbook and it was obvious that money was missing. He got in touch with the bank and found out that it was her. Also. My parents would hold on to my and my sister's cash that wasn't in the bank. Like maybe. $120 total and that mysteriously went missing. But they couldn't prove she took it. My parents didn't call the police because they didn't want to ruin her life and also. Her parents were very nice. They paid back the money she took and I never spoke to her again. I actually looked her up on Facebook and she has three daughters now. I wonder if she ever thinks about how much she betrayed our trust edit my grammar it hasn't improved since i was the age mentioned above so yeah i just stopped reading these comments about halfway down and picked my daughter up to hug her no offense op but duck this thread i had a babysitter when i was younger who'd make me drink expired milk she wouldn't let me move until i did so needless to say i don't drink milk anymore as a nanny I can promise I've never done anything like this to a kid. Never ignored them. Touched them. ETC. With that said, I had a babysitter when I was like 3 that apparently made me stand in front of her and her boyfriend with my pants down. My parents caught her. I was never touched. I don't remember any of it. My babysitter was my cousin. And she would kind of let me do whatever while she watched Mari. This was the 90s. I would do things like eat condiments straight. Because I figured since they were so good on food they'd be good by themselves. I remember eating a spoonful of salt, a few spoons of butter, and about a fifth of a jar of mayo. Then my stomach hurt so I took a nap on the welcome mat. In other aspects, she was awesome. She once made rice crispy treats and woke me up for some at 11 at night so I wouldn't miss out. A babysitter's son tried to molest my sister when she was about 5 or 6. He was around 12. He kept trying to take her into his room to play games and he told my brother and I to stay out. The kid was kind of a freak so I said absolutely not and I wouldn't let my sister leave my side. My older brother and I told my mom. And we stopped going there. Then my brother told the sitter's kid that I was the one who told. So the kid would always flip me off and threaten to kill me when he saw me at school. But he never actually did anything. 
These two sisters that used to watch me and my siblings would put Tabasco sauce on our lips and tongues when we were bad. They would also force us to take naps by putting us in our bedrooms, locking the door, and turning off the lights. I was 5 and my parents never made us take naps at that age. For some reason. I only ever complained about the nap thing, not the Tabasco thing. If I saw them on the street, I called them the girls who make us take naps. WTF I should have told my parents about the hot pepper sauce torture. Luckily they were backup sitters, who only came to the house a handful of times. Our other sitters were like family. They were really lovely girls. Genuine story. 30ish years ago my father was in British Merchant Navy and my mother would sometimes come along, working the bar, kitchen whatever. At the time I was just a baby, and I had the chance for some shore leave together but needed a sitter. The first mate volunteered to take the duty, and he was a Scottish lad with a strong desire for a drink just about every night, playing to stereotypes but it's true. But he took his sitting duties seriously and didn't touch a drop whilst looking after little me. Upon my parents return they found him looking after me safe and sound, being bottle fed just a small touch of whiskey to help me get to sleep. I don't think my parents were even angry, just amused. But my dad has some great stories from when he was in the navy, as I suppose every sailor does, and this one is quite sedate in comparison. As a teenage boy I always tried to get babysitting jobs but I found many parents were not comfortable with a male babysitter. It's funny to read this now and realize the female babysitters can be ducking creepers. One of our babysitters used to watch my two sisters my two god sisters and me. We were a wild bunch so when she'd play with us and we'd go crazy she'd say in her Filipino accent it da door and we'd all start trying to bite and chew on the front door. Good times. My mom likes to tell this story a lot, and it isn't a weird thing my babysitter did, but apparently she fell asleep while watching TV. My parents called and I answered the phone, telling them to be quiet because the babysitter was sleeping. Needless to say my mom was pissed. 6-7. A creepy old lady made me nap next to her and showed me a rusty old sword she said her late husband used in a war. He killed a lot of people with this she would say. 9-10. Girl next door babysitter and I would wrestle those were some good years ha ha. She was 12-13. Well, my nanny treated me fine as far as I know, but I once had an au pair who we found out was a prostitute. My parents found out because she used my parents beeper number for incoming calls from the escort service. My parents walked in her room and found boxes and boxes of condoms and a date book for all of the men she slept with. I understand that that may have been an invasion of her privacy, but she was a prostitute. Two babysitters left me with physical scars. I was playing les with my babysitter, who has downs, and after having scored a touchdown point killed her whatever it was. I was dancing around, until she put her hand on the back of my head then slammed my mouth into the console. Split lip for life. Another babysitter played a game where she closes my eyes then she tells me where to go. She had me run headlong into a table. At the time, my eyebrow and the table were on the same level. Split eyebrow for life. My family wouldn't let me in the bathroom by myself until I was a preteen, and found out this wasn't common and threatened to start asking non-family about it, and not even all the time after that. I liked my first apartment very much, because it had a bathroom door, with a lock and everything. If I have any kids of my own, I think I'll do my best to make sure they have a bathroom connected to their bedroom, once they're at a reasonable age for it of course, so I don't even give myself the chance to do this. Evil. Pure ducking evil described all over this thread. I hope that all three of your sitters were arrested, especially one and three. When I was like 6-7 living in Norway, I had beautiful Norwegian twin 18 year old sisters babysitting me. They would constantly hug me to their breasts whenever I seemed upset. I was upset a lot. As a teenage boy I always tried to get babysitting jobs but I found many parents were not comfortable with a male babysitter. It's funny to read this now and realize the female babysitters can be ducking creepers. When I was 3 years old I was left with a babysitter once. For lunch he fed me spaghettios, which call little toddler me a snob, but I thought they were gross. 
he forced me to eat them until eventually I puked. Then at nap time, I remember not wanting to sleep, so she threatened me with a hammer. I didn't get hit with it, but I was ducking terrified. I do not eat canned pasta. When I was 6 years old I had a babysitter named Latoya. All night she made fun of my favorite babadol, calling her big head. When it was time to go to bed my brother and I took a bath and while I was brushing my teeth she lifted me up by my ankles, held me head first and upside down in the toilet and gave me a swirly. I told my parents what happened, and needless to say she was not asked back. One of my babysitters hated me and made me take naps in her son's room that reeked of B.O. and when I would nap she would make me sleep with my shoes on and my feet hanging off of the bed. She then forced me to eat foods I hated and would get mad at me when I would run to the bathroom and be sick. She also bought me a necklace charm that said Brad which may seem like a slightly nice gesture except I was around 6 years old and was taught it was a bad word. One of my old babysitters taught me and my brother how to masturbate. I was 5 and he was 3. How special, right? I suppose it's no surprise that a couple years later my brother freaked out and tried to jam a broomstick up our new babysitter's butt. 1. One babysitter tried to get me to jump out of my second story window and onto one of those little exercise trampolines when I was 7. Full stop was crouched in the windowsill when my dad got home. 2. Other babysitter played death dice with me at around the same age. My role said I'd die at age 14 by being hit by a car. Took about 5 years to finally convince myself that I wasn't actually going to die at age 14.